from Appleton, Wisconsin. This is the Anderson Pounds Podcast. Welcome to Anderson Pens Podcast, episode 450 for Thursday, August 4th, 2022. This week, we have banter, news updates, my ink of the week, a zoo of pen stands, a trio of big shots, some Visconti favorites, a contest winner, a new contest, plus a calendar of ink and a winter sky from Sailor that are coming soon. Hey, Eric. Hey, Brian. Do you, uh, I do. you know, you know, Neil oh. Diamond. Do you like uh, not Neil Diamond? Personally, but uh, do, yeah, yeah, his music. His music, yeah. yeah. Uh, did you know Neil Diamond's actually a stage name? Okay. Uh, his real name is Neil Cole. Neil Cole. Yeah. But he changed it under pressure. Under pressure. Yeah. <laughs> that worked. That worked. <laughs> Justin laughed. Lisa recently uh, described me to someone as the Anderson Penn's exercise guru. Did you know that? <laughs> you are the exercise guru. Yes, I saw that, actually. Yes. What is the best exercise for lazy people? A nap. Oh, that's a good one, but <laughs> I was thinking diddly squats. <laughs> diddly squats. <laughs> Brian, yes. For the first time ever, you have seen the video of the location I, bumper. The first time ever, for yes. The first time yes. ever. So you know exactly twice. What, actually, you showed yes, it to me twice. Yes, I made sure you saw it. Yes. Um, Where is it? It is <laughs> the skate park at Tallulah Park, yes. and you are familiar with it. I this am place. familiar. I'll tell familiar. you all about it. It's located at Tallulah Park. The skate park opened in 2015. The plaza-style skate park includes a bowl feature, which makes it unique to all other surrounding area skate parks. I don't know if you've seen the bowl. No. Uh, any other, on any given, let me try that again. On any given nice weather weekend, the skate park can see 50 to 75 visitors a day, aged 5 to 60 plus. 60 plus. Yes. Have you seen 60 plus? I believe we have. I think okay. we did in that video. Okay. Right. Um, you visit here often. Uh, usually every morning. Every morning. Every morning. Yeah, and, I, I'm, and I'm... You're, you're doing the I'm, getting, I'm getting in the thing. Yeah. But, but this is on a bicycle. <laughs> it's on a road bike. It looks yeah. silly as all get out. It's fun, though, isn't it? Yes, it's it is kind of fun. Um, well, we go we go in on the first level, go up a ramp to the second level, then down. A, down actually, down. I think we go up, up, and then down. Yeah. On the next level, what you haven't seen is like a big empty pool, the bowl. Oh, we should go yeah, there. You have to see that. <laughs> can, just, can, we, just, can, we, can we do loops around? It's hard to get in because it's not really a pool. There's no, like, mm. you got to make an... A, you have to decide you're going, because there's only there's only one way in. Okay. <laughs> tomorrow morning. Well, we'll look tomorrow, tomorrow morning. morning. Tomorrow morning. This may be my last podcast ever. Uh, I believe this is our first podcast of August. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sure August is, yeah. is National Wellness Month. Oh, fantastic! Uh, National Wellness Month focuses on self care, managing stress, and promoting healthy routines, such as perhaps bicycling. Uh, Some small changes you can make to impact your health in positive ways include, but are not limited to, increase your water intake, add more fruits and veggies to your meals, monitor your sleep and make adjustments for better sleep habits, join a yoga, walking or aerobics class, learn to meditate, use a fountain pen. I added that one. You added that one. I added that one. Okay. Uh, You have recently made a change. Yeah, uh, yeah. For your wellness. I've done this more times in a row than yeah. I ever have in my life. I, have, I think I mentioned it and last that, time. That would be getting up at... It's getting up at the crack of dawn crack to go dawn, uh, yeah. bicycling. And since I mentioned it last time, you have continued. Yes. You have continued. I have yet to miss. Moving right along, speaking of wellness, today, August 4th, is National Chocolate Chip Cookie Day. <gasps> National Come Chocolate out of Chip here. Hurry up, let's get going. National Chocolate Chip Cookie Day gives us an opportunity, nay, a mandate, to partake... Of America's number one favorite cookie. I didn't realize it was number one. Really? But I guess uh, I'm not sense. surprised. I'm not, it's, it's lovely. It's it lovely. was around 1938 when the very first chocolate chip cookie, known as the Toll House cookie, was mm. invented by American chef Ruth Graves Wakefield. She, she owned a, a, a lodge, and it okay. was called the Toll House, Toll House. Inn, okay. and she was uh, an American chef. She was doing all the cooking in there, and she's experimenting, and she made this cookie. She accidentally she, dropped she called chocolate the chips House. into a... Uh, no, she said she did it on purpose. Oh, she did it on purpose. Did it on purpose. Um, some people do think it was an accident, but she claims <laughs> it was on purpose. And uh, Whatever. Shh, <laughs> one more thing. It's a secret, though. Yesterday was Steph's birthday, and she would be very angry with me if she knew I were saying this. Okay. But I will make sure she doesn't watch we'll, the podcast. We'll, we'll just say it really quietly. Yeah, happy, happy birthday, birthday, Steph. Steph. See, we, we do talk that quietly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. During Mike Chuck. 
Um, don't take it out of your pocket, but I have a note here to remind me, to remind everyone to guess the pen. I already know what it is. So I can see it really well from where I'm standing. YouTube. Last Friday, we published Eric's top three vacation pens. Uh, that was mine. I was yep, there. Yep. And tomorrow, Friday, we'll publish Steph's top three vacation pens. Fantastic. I remember those because I was there, too. And let's, uh, while we're talking about the vacation pens, let's pause for a moment uh, because in both your vacation pen in the comment section and in mine, someone is asking, how do you travel with ink? Uh, and we did not cover that in yours and we didn't cover it in mine. And I'll, uh, uh, spoiler alert, we're not going to cover it in Steph's either. <laughs> so, um, uh, how to travel with ink. Uh, someone did reply that the uh, Visconti traveling ink pot works wonders. Mm -hmm. I've never used one, but I'll bet it does mm -hmm. work wonders. When I need to take a bottle or bottles, I make sure they're tightly closed, mm -hmm. and then I put w each one separately in a baggie, sure. yep. and in another baggie, and in, I usually do three baggies, just wow. in case. Something. Three bags? It's usually going in like we, my clothes. I put them between clothes oh, to yeah, keep I them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so if anything were to happen, I feel re relatively safe. Um, I don't often travel with bottles of ink, but that I have in the past done that. Do you have any tricks? Uh, you, you know what I like is the, uh, the Twisby Vac bottle. I have not used that. Either. Um, it, it comes in. It actually comes in a nice cardboard box, a nice sturdy cardboard box. So, uh, even if you don't have the vac, a lot of people will buy it for a traveling inkwell. Well, no, I, I guess I should say that I do what I said I did when I'm traveling by plane. Mm -hmm. If I'm going in the car, Damn. then I put it in my my backpack and yep. I take off. Yep. Yep. Um, but I can't think of anything else I do except usually I don't travel with ink cartridges. Cartridges. I, I used to travel with a bag of Pilot, Platinum, and Sailor cartridges. And then that way, I always, when I went to a show, I always you had, had some. whatever was necessary. Yep. Okay. So, yeah, baggies. Baggies. That's my answer, baggies. This coming Sunday, August 7th, Anderson Penn's Sunday Brunch Menu 14, Sunday Brunch Returns. We are going to go over, if I recall correctly, the seven standard Sailor nib sizes. Yep. yep. That should be fun. More news. Lisa and Steph podcast on August 18th. That is now two, two weeks, weeks from today. Weeks. And everybody's looking forward to this. <laughs> Get those guys off. And another reminder that there is a two-day in-store nib customization and pen repair event at Anderson Pen Chicago. Do you remember the details yep, on that? Yep. So it's with Mike and Linda Kennedy. Uh, Saturday, August 27th, 9.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. And Sunday, August 28th, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. That's two hours uh, we're opening two hours early that day. So Saturday and Sunday, August 27th, 28th, uh, nib grinds. Uh, Mike will be doing pen repairs. Uh, first come, first serve. Uh, new sign-up form each day. But uh, one grind per appointment, two grinds maximum per day. But if no one else is there, make sure you've brought some other things along because or they'll be buy happy something to. something in the store. Yeah, or you can buy something in the store. But uh, um, if it's very busy, they'll probably they'll try to hold you to that. Uh, uh, that is something I do at pen shows. That minimum. I, I buy something or things that I want, and I walk right to the right nib to the table and, and have get do uh, it just right. The dates here: Saturday, Sunday, August twenty seventh, and August twenty eighth. Uh, you're going to be in Chicago, like the middle of the month. Because I know like this two weeks because earlier. Yeah, Lisa's yeah. going to be mm -hmm, here to mm -hmm. do the podcast with Steph. So this is a special trip for you. Yes, yeah. Because you said you're going to be there for this. I will be there. Yep. Okay, okay. This is big news. I, you see, I wrote gasp. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and it hasn't really made. I don't. I haven't seen anybody talking about it much yet. Maybe it's not big news. Uh, maybe it's not big news. I think it's big news. Um, Tell us what you know. Schaefer has been sold. Has been sold. Has been sold. Cross uh, was the owner. I didn't even know it was for sale. <laughs> uh, yeah, we know nobody knew it was for sale. Uh, and, and Cross apparently sold off Schaefer, and uh, more details to be announced. But. Uh, does, has this affected us in any way that we can talk about? Uh, I can't get any Schaefer product right now, so that's. Oh, that's a big. Yeah, that's a. That's, that's, yeah. So, so what I don't, we I, have, I, we have. Well, for right now, what what we have, we have. I don't know what oh, the future holds. So um, I better get that icon now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I do like that, that. That legacy or something. The legacy. Yeah. Uh, but it, so there will be more news as as we get it. Uh, so we don't know anything but, other than it's been sold and there's a pause on fulfilling yes, orders. Yes. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. So. One thing you can get yes. is ink from Urban. 
This uh, is my ink of the week. It is Herbon Cacao do Brazil. I like this one. And it is gorgeous. You you do like it. I, I think I, ha- I might have a... I might have a bottle. You might so. have a whole bottle of this. I yeah. might have a bottle for for your Twizzy Macarda. Yeah, yep, yeah. Yep. it's it's really a gorgeous ink. It is a, one of my all time favorites. Uh, it's a difficult color to define precisely, it's like a but it's not brown and it's not gray. Purplish. Chris, our original uh, Mr. Paper, mm-hmm. called it a heather charcoal. Heather charcoal. Huh. Uh, in a fine nib, I think it looks gray. Uh, as you yeah. see, I'm not really using a fine yeah, nib Yeah, it's not here. a fine nib. Uh, in broader nibs, you see darker hues and also a bit of pewter violet, another yeah. Chris term. Uh, <laughs> you just compare it to other grays and you'll see the difference there. Yeah. There's no show through, no feathering. It is not a flashy ink. So if you're looking for a flashy no. ink, this this one is it's not flashy, but uh, it's very legible. It has rich subtleties that can be surprising, uh, perhaps a little on the dry side, but has good flow. This is the first ink with that cleanup. Wow! Uh, one, wow. it just rinsed off my hand. Yeah, yeah. Rinsed is this off the first? This is the first. This uh, is the first one, I think. This is the first urban. I uh, don't think so. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, I put. Uh, <laughs> look who's making that ink. <laughs> Bungle Box Urban. No, um, that's not right. That's not right. It is available in uh, uh, the 50 mil bottle. Is that 50 mil? That's 30 mil. 30 mil bottle yep. and a 3 mil sample. Yep. Uh, this this the bottle, bottle is cute with the... You know, well, the the I rest that... I the, won't go into yeah. that. Yeah. It's, it's, it's good in theory. Yeah. The color's great, though. What do you call an angry carrot? A steamed veggie. They're finally here. They are. We've, in fact, both of them are finally here. Both, of, both we, of them. We've been waiting for one, and they, they, they both showed up. We'll, we'll, we will start with the Puni Labo pin oh, stands, I know, I of which you had one. I had one. You, you've had one that you've been showing it, off. It of got it. commandeered. This is the black cat, um, but the rest came in. I have a black cat, and I have a Shiba dog, and what do you have? I have a chick. And a pug. And a pug. And your favorite. And my favorite, the seal. The seal. The, the little seal. The, the baby, seal. baby seal. That is a cute one, isn't it? Isn't that nice? Just a little face there. Little uh, little magnet on the bottom there, so you can put the magnet on your desk. It adheres to the desk. Okay, so there's a magnet on the bottom of this. There's a magnet there, and then and it, it, comes with, little... it comes with a magnet here that's got adhesive on the back, and then oh, you okay. put that on your desk. Oh, that's right. And I want uh, them on the refrigerator. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> I have to put them on the top of the door yep. or something. Yep. So, okay, so they're all here. No, they're all here. Calico Cat isn't here. Calico Cat. Black there. Cat, the Chick, the Pug, the Seal, the Sheba Dog, and coming soon, Calico Cat. You put your pen in there. They are very cute. They are they're very cute. Yep. I think perhaps I like the Black Cat. I, I, I think you should. I, I think perhaps I do. Um, and these just in, just before I walk through the door. About 20 minutes. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So these are the zipper pouches that are lying down. Yep. I have the Penguin here. That's a penguin. Penguin, that's a penguin. Yep. And this one, I don't know. I just got a butt. <laughs> oh, is it turn around? Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's there's, calico. There's cat. your calico. There you go. I've got the gray cat and uh, what is this? This is the Sheba dog. Yes, this is the Sheba. That's the Sheba dog. Shiba, yeah. And we had one last week that we could touch. Yes, yeah. I remember they feel nice. Yeah, it's just it's it's the it's same, same thing, but but bigger. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and rubber, smushier, rubbery material, smushier, silicone. So they're here. They they're just here. walked in the door. <laughs> So, but don't make me giggle again. Area, 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 area. And then we got some big shots. Yes, these are retro fifty-one big shots. Hawthorne red. I think you have a Bronx. I have a navy, navy blue, and which is a, a, amazing color. A Brixton black, and and uh, they're designed for larger hands or for those who like a pen uh, with more girth. And I, I do like mm-hmm. the more girth on it. Uh, the Red for 51 is your new best friend. Each of these have a brass barrel that has been engraved with an angular spiraling pinstripe design. Yeah, so you and can if, feel the, the texture on it. And, 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 and that is cool when you spin it. Mm-hmm. I would just need one to sit on my desk and spin. We could, we could hook, a, hook a piece of fishing line I up through the clip. I was thinking a tiny lazy Susan with one of those pen stands and this in there. <laughs> uh, then we'd have to <laughs> motorize it somehow. Uh, this is going too far. <laughs> the barrels are then coated with glossy lacquer. lacquer. The Hawthorne Red is a gleaming red color. Obviously, the Bronx Navy is a shiny navy blue color, and mm-hmm. the Brixton has an elegant black color with black trim. Yes, uh, the Hawthorne Red and the Bronx Navy both have chrome accents, while the Brixton has matte black nickel accents. 
This is a handsome pen. Isn't it? Nice. They're, they're all... They're this is a flashy pen. Yeah, yeah. And that's a gorgeous pen. This is nice, yeah. So, uh, and they're called Big Shots because they're girthier. They're, yep, they're bigger. Uh, I think they're a little heavier. Oh, yeah. I mean, oh, they're yep. brass. Mm-hmm. They're not all brass, are they? All the retros, are they all brass? I think they're all brass. Okay. <laughs> then there's more brass. These are back. Yes. These are back. Uh, all right. Round two, I'm going to call Round it. two. Yeah, so these these uh, are the Visconti Rembrandt uh, models. Uh, these are... Uh, they came out with these a f- quite a few years ago, uh, Twilight Eclipse and Black Forest. I think so I have a Twilight here. I think you've got the Twilight. I have the Eclipse. Now these two are very, very, very similar, similar. Very similar. And then Black. Uh, Black. No, it's Dark Forest. Dark Forest. Yes, Dark Forest, which is uh, yes, these the are green. very similar. But this, this seems to have more purple. It, yeah, that. So the Twilight has more purple. The Eclipse has a little bit more brown, but also has some purple in it. And then. Uh, oh. The Dark Forest has got this green. Now, uh, these had previously been released. Yeah, they, we had these quite a number of years ago, and then they discontinued them. And then recently, uh, we were chatting, and they said, oh, we, we've, we've got more of these. I, I don't know where they came from, so but I they're back. The Twilight, the twilight uh, has swirling colors of black and purple mm-hmm. compared to the Eclipse, which is black, brown, and purple. Brown and purple. So it's a little bit, it's not yeah. quite as, uh, well, right. this one is bright little, is not really the, the term, but. Eye catchy, I eye think. Catchy. And then the uh, Dark Forest is black and green. Yeah. And that one is the obvious one. Yeah. Yep. It's got green. Uh, all are, ac- are accented by a palladium trim band engraved with ornamental motifs used by Rembrandt himself. Hmm. Fountain pens, uh, roller balls use the Visconti magnetic, magnetic cap system. Mm-hmm. All pen versions utilize the iconic Visconti spring clip, and the fountain pens are available in nib sizes fine, medium, and broad. Yep. That's my understanding. They're nice. They're nice. They're yeah, nice, nice colors. Uh, I'm glad to see them back, even if uh, only for a short period of time. But we've got them in. We've got fountain pen, roller ball, some ball points. Compare this to a Van Gogh. It's literally the exact same section. Uh, the nib now is marked different on Van Gogh's. Right. It's actually marked Van Gogh's, but it's literally the exact same. This part here is identical. The section. This, oh. this whole piece here. Uh, the, the Van Gogh is obviously a faceted barrel. And cap. uses a different color palette because... Uh, of, yep. Yeah. So these color palettes are from Rembrandt, Rembrandt uh, pictures, pictures, paintings, and Van Gogh's are from Van Gogh. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So he was dark. Yeah. These are, I think these are pretty, pretty, pretty closer to accurate on the other members of the lineup, the reds, yeah. the blues, the blacks. I think I like the green one. Yeah. The green is nice. I'll take the green yep. one. Although the purple in this one is kind of striking, yeah, that's when nice. you catch a, when you catch a glimpse of it. Yeah, of course every piece is different, um, but uh, nice pens. Why do cows have hooves and not feet? They lack toes. Mr. Anderson, yes, as you may recall. We did a contest last week, and someone you know and love had a birthday last yes, week. Yes, yes, she did. Did she have a nice birthday? Uh, well, not as nice as it would have been if I'd have been there. But True. Yes. Someone in the comment section said, make Brian buy you a nice dinner. I think it said, take you for a nice dinner. But you were so far away. I think you bought her sushi, though. I bought her sushi I, I like picture. the day before. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was yeah. The, the eve of her birthday. Anyway, last week's, uh, as you may recall, uh, contest was just to wish Lisa a happy birthday. I have pulled some comments. Fantastic. Uh, from our comments section. Steve Ma says, happy birthday, Lisa, and many more trips around the sun. Rich Johnson, who is uh, our audience member who has but one fountain pen. One fountain pen, okay. And I believe zero ink samples. Uh, Rich Johnson says, happy birthday, Lisa. My birthday is also tomorrow, meaning a.k.a. Friday, mm-hmm. the 29th. July 29th is the best day of the year. Apparently so. Yes. Nice people yeah. born on the on that day. Lynn Hayes says, Happy birthday, Lisa. Hope you have enjoyed your month. I could be your big sister, as I am exactly ten years older. So I'm assuming oh. Lynn's is also on the 29th. I'm planning a trip to Chicago and coming to see you and Anderson Penns. Uh, coming to see you and Anderson Penns is the top of my itinerary. Awesome. So be ready, Lisa. Uh, David Nelson says, happy birthday, Lisa. Though I watch numerous podcasts. Oh, this must be for us. Though I watch numerous podcasts, the Anderson Penn podcast and Sunday Brunch are the ones I look forward to the most. Love the banter. Do we banter? I do my banter. I don't know if we banter. Sherry Moss says, welcome to Club 57, Lisa. I guess that's where uh, where, uh, Sherry is, too. Yeah. 
Uh, this person said, Happy birthday, Lisa, and thanks to all of you for the fun and informative podcasts. Who is this person? It's Bob Anderson. Bob Anderson. You know this person? I don't know this person. She's giving us compliments. You're paying people to give us compliments? Family members. Eric Schroeder says, Happy birthday, Lisa, and thank you to everyone for being part of this cool little committee. And I kind of like that. Committee? This is the AP committee. Yeah, yeah. And I, I selected a winner. Okay. At random. Good, good. Uh, for a $57 gift certificate to your Anderson Pens account, the winner is Michael Simon, whose comment was... Happy birthday, Lisa, wherever you are for the day. She was in Chicago. Chicago, yes. Uh, eating sushi. Sushi, yeah. Well, she had that the night before. She, she did get there's her no Starbucks. Such thing as, there's no such thing as leftover no. sushi. So. She did get her Starbucks, her yes, previous Starbucks. Yes, did. Uh, did I hear something about a cookie? Uh, I don't remember. Uh, there was, uh, yeah, I think there was there's a cookie. About about so, uh, Michael, uh, write to me, Eric, at AndersonPens.com, and we will take care of putting that $57 uh, credit on your Anderson Pens account. I am not flipping the page here. Okay. Uh, no, we're high tech today. We're, we're using an iPad. We have the paper script there just in case. <laughs> so you're not doing it so I don't see it or what? I'm not. I don't want you. I just want to make sure you don't answer the question okay. for the next week's contest because I don't want you to influence it. You can see it. Just know oh, okay. you're not allowed to answer because this question came oh, about 12. because <laughs> no counting. Uh, a brouhaha has erupted at Anderson Pens and. Each one of you has to take a side. Uh, a brouhaha? A brouhaha. There's no counting necessary. <laughs> but uh, I announced, I believe yesterday, that on this Sunday, Sunday brunch, we were going to play that quiz I do for you mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. for a sample of the uh, Cacao de Brazil. And from across the store, someone said, what about June Bride? And boy, oh boy, <laughs> there are two factions here. Some that <clears> like <throat> June Bride and some that like Cacao de Brazil. But uh, we're not going to say. Okay. So we don't want to influence. It's just we're going to have Justin show them side by side, and all you have to do in the comment section to enter this week's contest is tell us which one you prefer. And there's no right or wrong answer unless your choice differs from mine. Um, <laughs> is it Bangu Box June Bride Something Blue or is it Herbon Cacao du Brésil? That's all we want to know. Okay. And this is for a twenty dollar gift certificate to your Anderson Pens account. Uh, a random winner will be drawn next week. And I, I, here's where we would talk about our choices, but yes. I don't want to influence anybody. Kaweco, uh, <laughs> yeah. sunset, sunrise, 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 whatever sunrise orange. <laughs> Brian. What? Well, yeah, you, <laughs> you just go with it. Just yes. go with it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm very excited about this. <laughs> yeah. I'm very okay. excited. Coming soon. Coming soon. To okay. an Anderson Pens near you. The Diamine 2022 Ink Vent Calendar. Yes. yes. This is spectacular. Every year it is spectacular. This year is going to be just as spectacular as, as, as it has always been. Enjoy the 2022 holiday season this year with Diamine's interpretation of an advent calendar. Count down the days until Christmas by opening one door each day to reveal a 12 milliliter bottle of never before seen ink ink from diamine i don't the know how they do this final day they're creative they're creative the final day reveals a 30 milliliter bottle all 25 inks are new colors and formulas including shimmer scent scent and sheen Ooh, scent. chameleon and chameleon and sheen uh, or cool new standard formula inks the ink set is limited and sells out rather quickly every yep. year yep. Uh, as of today which is august 4th uh, there are only 143 days until christmas however there are only 119 days until December 1st when we you could start. open the first door on this yep. ink pen calendar. Now, this is at our website yep. uh, for you sign up for back in stocks so that you know when it's when here. Because it yeah. uh, if I remember last year, they went. Yeah, and, I, I ordered considerably more than I did last year. So Yeah, they're, they're, they're not the cheapest thing on the shelf. No, uh, they're but not. But there's 25 bottles of ink in there, mm -hmm. so one would expect... Plus, they're fun. It's 25 yeah. days of fun, and then however long that ink will last you. Uh, I cannot wait to get mine. There's some noise behind me. I don't know what it is, so I don't know if I should wait. Okay, I'll go now. Oh, you should tell us all about this. I forgot about that. Uh, coming soon, Sailor Pro Gear Winter Sky. So this is a special edition pen. It captures the feel of a fresh winter's morning with the gentlest of lilac colors set against frosty, white gold accents in a solid 21 karat or 14 karat gold nib with rhodium plating. 
Slated for a September release, the Winter Sky will be available in Slim with 14 karat nibs, Standard with 21 karat nib, and the King of Pen with 21 karat nibs. Slim and Standard nib choices include uh, Extra Fine, Fine, Medium Fine, Medium Broad, Zoom, and Music, and King of Pen comes in Medium and Broad. Now, this is the third of the pillow of the book, pillow book pillow series book. so yes this is the third one and it's one. beautiful this one this it one is, is, is a different I, At that color I you think don't this find one's that nice. color yeah this, this, what do they call it some sort of uh, a hint the lilac, of violet, lilac? it's yeah. a frosty it's, white gold accent yeah it's, it's it looks quite, interesting i have only seen the pictures mm-hmm. but it is the pictures make it look very nice the nib sizes extra fine fine medium fine medium broad zoom and music are those correct those are correct yes because i did that from memory yes is there seven and there? I, One, two, three, yes, four. Yes, seven, but I always <laughs> get mixed up on medium fine. Is it medium fine or fine medium? Yeah, medium know. fine. Yeah. I always wanted to Pilot be Pilot is fine medium, medium sailor is medium ah, see, fine. See, it does exist. That's why I get mixed up. Yes. Okay, okay. And then we have to talk about it. We just have to mention this because yes. something has changed. Yes. We mentioned it. We'll probably mention it all the time. Uh, probably now Hobonichi for the next 2023. Yeah, uh, we have told you that it's coming. We have said that uh, sales will begin at 9 p.m. Central on August 31st. We didn't know last week when we could actually show the the product lineup. The preview, yeah. But Hobonichi has announced that the entire Hobonichi 2023 product lineup will be revealed on August 25th, yep. which might be August 24th for us. Yes. I don't know. We'll have to look into it. Now, I don't think they've specifically given us permission, but they probably will. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so I would say no later than August 25th. We'll get to actually show. We'll these have things. them online. You right. can go and you, you can, can select, you can research, and sign up for back in stock. For sign the up for the that ones you that you really want. Because yeah. I already know the ones I want, but I'm in the unique position of having seen. They did give us pictures, but they're all watermarks. Yeah. So and they're they're uh, yeah they're, they're really small. They're really small. <laughs> they really don't want this information yeah. leaking out, um, which is fine because this yeah. is their show yeah. and they Absolutely. should be able to control this uh, the way they want to. But I am very excited about. I guess I get excited about this every year, don't I? I? We do. Yeah. yeah. It's fun. It's a fun time well, of year. There's one particular one that I, is, I want this year okay. more than I've wanted other things in okay. the past. Um, so you've written to them, right? Uh, written to them? You've written to them to ask yes. for the non watermark yes. full size yes. pictures. I have and, been in, in communication. Can we. Uh, reveal at the same time they reveal. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. Yeah. so we, we will get to do that. Hobonichi is generally speaking this time of year, they're very. They're slammed, so uh, I, I sent them an email. They're also very nice. They are, they're but I, I nice. never hear back from them like as promptly as you know you want to. What time just, is it? What's the well, time yes, difference? It's, it's tomorrow. It's, I know. Yeah, it's fourteen. Is it yeah. fourteen hours, something like that? Um, but that's okay. We still have time. Yeah, it's we got nice to time. know that yep. these things are coming, uh, and I can't wait. I'm going to have that Hobonichi and I, oh, the three things I want. I'm going to get an ink vent calendar and yeah, Merry Christmas. To me. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you start there? Thanks for joining us. Tune in next time for more talk about pens, ink, and paper. You can check us out on social media as Anderson Pens, and I understand there is a store in Chicago. There is. Ground floor of the Palmer House Hilton. Open seven days a week. You'll find Lisa there. Does it have a website? It does. Chicago.AndersonPens.com. Wonderful. Like this video, please, and consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. And now, what pen is that? This. What pen is Oh. Is the Waterman Karen Essence yes, to Blue. One of your favorites. Yes, it's a nice you kind of like I that. Kinda like this you one. like the cap. I like the cap. I like the design on the cap. It's a little extra. Uh, another special. one of your favorites is that ST DuPont uh, Line D Medium. The Line D Medium, which has and, a very similar cap. Right. Th- oh. This Waterman is the pen I thought I was using that day for when I was using oh, your pen. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then. Yeah. I said, wow, I really like this pen. And I took a closer look at it and said, hey, wait, this is not, not your Waterman. Waterman. What yeah. is this pen? Yeah. No, this is, this, is, this is just as nice a pen, really. So I had some words of wisdom for everyone who's still standing around. Let's see if I can remember what they were. Yes, I remember. Why do they call it restroom if you're going to judge me for sleeping on the floor? Bye.